So guys, welcome back to the next episode. And we will now work with or getting the animations we targeted property. For that, sadly, we have to do a fix in the in, in the installation of the engine. 5.1 has an issue. I think it's also in 5.0, not confirmed yet, but I think we will have there the same issues. I will also provide a fix very soon for 5.0. So if it's not yet there, just wait a little bit and before you move on or use the latest version, that's also perfectly fine. And yeah, to get it working, I will close the editor now and we will open this link here. So everything is linked down in the description below to this pull request. That's a fix I did for the IK rig for 5.1. It's not yet confirmed by Epic that everything is working as expected. So please don't blame me. If something breaks on your project or so, please do backups. Also do a backup from the plugin because we change a released version already of Unreal Engine. And in case if you don't see this link here, the reason might be that your Unreal Engine account is not yet connected to your GitHub account. You need to follow those steps so that you also yeah, confirm the usage of the Unreal Engine license agreement. I will cover those also in more detail in the link down in the description below in the videos and we will now start. So we download the fixed version here. So the zip file basically, and we save this to the folder UE4 underscore 5.1 engine plugins animation because there's IK rig. So we save this one and I did it already multiple times. <laughs> so here is the folder and highly recommending zipping the old IK rig version. So I'm using seven zip here. So add to archive, then it, you can archive it. Basically it saves you that you can always go back. If something is broken, it should not, everything is working perfectly fine on my side, but yeah, it might be that it's not working on your side. Um, then you open the zip folder or the zip, not the zip folder, the zip file, basically extract everything to this location and then rename this one. I chose another name to basically not overwrite existing folders. So yeah, just, just a little bit to secure ourselves. And then if everything is going well and it should go well, we can reopen the project and you will not see the splash screen. So yeah, if you are really interested in the details on the fixes and so on, I will cover those in the videos down in the description below so that you also know what is going on. Like usual, I try to document every step so that you don't get stuck. So yeah, we are here in Unreal Engine 5.1 again, and we can go to characters, mannequins and meshes. As we already have seen, it's very important to have virtual bones and the curve skeleton and the skeleton curves and so on. We will quickly check this one if it's correctly set up. So here we have the virtual bones. We have the sockets here. That's fine. We have some might have some curves, but let me check if they are all there. I don't think so. So we check for uh, check skeleton curve names. Then we go back to the output log and this we see there are a lot of missing. So what we do is do a right click. That's a new feature of TT toolbox, character tools, and we add missing skeleton curves. And now if we run the check again, so we also clear the output log, or we also see that the tool is adding all those curves, but I'm always trying to confirm every step I do. So let me quickly run the script again check for skeleton curve names, not opening the asset. We want to go to the output log and there are no missing curves anymore. It does not show anything. So no red text anymore. So that's perfectly fine. And yeah, we want to move on. So some more stuff that might break ELS is the following, the blend profiles. We don't have here 
the same blend profiles like we have in the anime. Let me show this to you. I'm not sure yet if this is used somewhere in ELS, but it seems to be very important uh, in other systems like Lyra. So there it's used a lot so far, I know. And if we open the skeleton here and move it to the left, you will see other blend profiles, weight blend profiles. Here are no weight blend profiles, only blend masks. So what, what we can do is Use, using also TT toolbox again, do a right click, say scripted asset actions, character tools, and we say, uh, where is it? At Ooh, where is it? <laughs> at bones, sockets, at skeleton brand profiles, that's the thing. So there is an there is an option if you want to override all existing blend profiles. We can just click on OK. We check the output log. There are seem to be no issues. So we open the skeleton again, and we should have the blend profiles as well. So it's basically weights for every bone that is on the skeleton. And yeah, it, it's stored in the data table, so you can reuse this for your own systems as well if you want to. But here we are using it for ALS. So then everything should get set up. So and also, oh, I forgot something. Blend profiles. There's a very nice documentation on Unreal Engine. Here I will also mask and blend profiles so that you can learn how the things work there if you want to work with those it's basically for blending animations together so here it's still running and here it's stopping and then playing the other animation so yeah um i would say everything is now really very well prepared for retargeting and we will give it a try so we go here to advanced locomotion version 4 character assets managing skeleton and the ALS unmpp do a right click retarget and duplicate a duplicate and retarget animation blueprint we select our retargeter we change the folder set it to characters mannequins animations and here I'm just creating a new folder and call it ELS then we select this folder click on OK also make sure that you really check this checkbox, remap reference assets, otherwise you might step into some issues because linked animations are not properly retargeted. They're just skipped. So, and also I'm using always this yeah, con convention, ALS underscore gets replaced by ALS underscore UE5 many. Click on retarget. It should be done very quickly. And we can just press Control S. Or it might also take some time to retarget animations depending on your machine. Mine is quite fast, as you have seen. And we go back to one folder here. We create a blueprints folder in characters, mannequins, blueprints. I already did it many times because I recorded this video some multiple times already. I did a mis I did mistakes it somewhere. So we just copy over these blueprints to here and say copy. Then we rename everything from UE4 to UE5 so that we know what is going on and what it's used for UE5. And that's also the reason why I said guys use a game mode to replace a character because you don't have then you don't have to mess around with the map. So and we save everything again open the blueprint and here we set the mannequin i'm using the higher mannequin because it just provides more bones and it, we could tweak the animations more easily if you want if, if i want or you can also use the simple version that has a compatible option for the old mannequin so it's the same skeleton basically so we compile everything save and we Oh, sorry, I was way too fast. We also set the UE5 many animation blueprint class, so anim class. And then if we play the game, everything should work. So we now have a very 
decent looking character animations with UE4, a uh, UE5 many. <laughs> Damn, S at some point I will get it working. Um, or say it correctly. So what you can do is always press the Z key and then sp start sprinting and jump. And then keep moving forward. And you should not see any weird leg rotations. D they just look a little bit weird in slow motion as well, sure. But if you don't have the foot arcade system working, it will look very, very weird. Also, what you can do is for checking stuff is go back to here and click on these three dots and then say current location and play the game. And then you can just yeah, check if the foot arcade system is working properly. So that is working properly. Also, the, the traces should work. So as we have seen already, camera traces works perfectly fine. The foot or feet traces work for foot IK. So yeah, I would say it's working quite nice. And we have a quite a good result. Also the turn and place system works, as we see already if you rotate the camera. So yeah, I would say we end the session now, as you might have already guessed the mandling system is not yet working and oh one, one more thing you might wondering now that the held object locations are messed up that's because we constrain the ik handgun bone to the right hand so we can see this even better in the torch pose because th there's normally the bone around here in this location but the ik handgun bone is here so that's why it's messed up and yeah, we will fix this in other sessions and hopefully then soon we will have a working character. See you in the next session.